anti-wrist radial deviation orthosis. Here we will demonstrate how to fabricate an anti-wrist radial deviation orthosis with a dynamic pull on the ulna side, used for example in case of rheumatoid arthritis of the wrist. To fabricate this two-portion orthosis, we will need two different pieces of orphicast. Take the first strip of orphicast 6 cm wide. Measure four times the width of the hands at the level of the MCP joints and cut it accordingly. Take a second strip of orphicast 6 cm wide. Measure two times the circumference of the wrist and cut it accordingly as well. Heat to activate the orphicast. Fold the first strip of orphicast in half widthwise and cut a hole for the thumb at about three quarters of the length. Slide the thumb through the hole with the larger portion of the strip placed on the palmar surface of the hand. Pinch the two ends of the orphicast together on the dorsal part of the hand. Carefully mold the hand arches with a pressure point underneath the head of the third MCP. Take the second strip of orphicast, fold it in half and wrap it around the distal part of the forearm. Pinch it together on the dorsal surface of the forearm. Let both pieces harden. Cut away any excess material on both parts. Trim the edges and round the corners. Enlarge the hole for the thumb as much as possible. Take a piece of self-adhesive Velcro hook. Heat one side of the forearm-based portion with a heat gun. Briefly heat the self-adhesive glue and stick together. Heat the other side with a heat gun and stick a piece of Velcro loop with the fuzzy side down onto the orthosis. Secure the Velcro loop by heating a small piece of orphicast with the heat gun and stick it over the edges of the Velcro loop. Do the same with the other part of the orthosis. Round the corners of the straps. Put both portions of the orthosis on the patient. Take a small strip of orphicast and heat it with the heat gun. Roll the orphicast into a small tube while maintaining a constant pressure. Fit the length of the orphicast roll onto the radial side of the wrist and cut to fit. Heat both sides of the orphicast tube with a heat gun and stick them on the radial side of the wrist onto both portions of the orthosis. Take one orphi tube. Cut the orphi tube to the right length. Take a piece of elastic thread. Make a knot on one end of the thread. Heat a piece of orphicast with the heat gun and roll this over the knot to secure the knot. Pass the elastic thread through the orphi tube. Heat a small strip of orphicast and roll the orphi tube with the orphicast. Cut away any of the excess material. Heat the orphicast on the orphi tube with a heat gun and heat both portions of the orthosis on the ulna surface. Stick the orphi tube onto the proximal ulna side of the orthosis. Apply tension to the elastic thread and make a knot. Heat a piece of orphicast with the heat gun and roll this over the knot to secure the knot.
heat the orficast protected knot with a heat gun. Stick the knot with sufficient tension onto the distal ulna part of the orthosis. The orthosis is now ready for fitting on the patient.